Today we're showing off the new file server for the um, .NET Micro Framework. Uh, it's called AQ13. Now this um, FTP server supports active mode and most of the standard command sets. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the code here. Really simple. We're mounting the SD, enabling the internet. We're actually even starting up a name server. And then we start up the FTP, give it a couple of users, and it's ready to go. So we're going to start up this project here. I've also set the FTP server into debug mode so that it will uh, give me a readout of everything that's going on. So we can see the name server started and FTP is ready to go. So I'll open up the name server. This makes it a lot easier. I don't have to memorize the IP address. I can just give it the name. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in as anonymous. which you can set to either allow or disallow when you turn on the FTP server. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to get a list. A couple of files I'm only allowed in a single directory as an anonymous user. I'm going to get one of the wallpapers here. As you can see, we're reading off that I'm sending the data back. And here we go, we can see that we've gotten the file. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and delete that. And of course, the user's not permission for that. So I'm going to log off and come back in. And give it a real username with permissions. And here we can see I've, I've got a whole lot of extra directories here. I'm going to go into that same directory I was before, which is pixis slash wallpapers. And this time I'm going to get blue stripes. Oh, helps if I type it right. But as we can see, it also handles, you know, non-existent files and things like that. So once again, we have a look, and here's our image. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename this file Blue Stripes 2. Actually, no, we'll leave it the same name, and we'll do a send. We'll do a send Blue Stripes .jpg Blue 2 .jpg. And you can see everything going on here in the debug. And also you can see in debug mode, it'll also show us our path changes. We go back down into there. And we can see our new Bluetooth exists. So I'm going to rename it. And the rename's gone for now. I'm going to delete it. File's gone, and we even support things like full paths, so I can do sd slash x. And there we go. So that's the uh, AQ13 server. You can also specify the name of the server when you start it up, which will affect the greeting and the farewell from the server. It'll give whatever name you supply. Uh, there isn't a limit to the number of user names and permissions that you can put in, but it does only allow one connection at a time because there's a limit to the number of sockets allowed on this uh, device. And the name server uses one socket, and um, the FTP can use up to three sockets at a time. One for the active listener, one for the connection, and one for uh, sending or receiving binary data, doing, doing lists, doing a git or a send. 